Hi, I'm CC Readers. I would like to just take a minute to share with you a book that I recently experienced. It's called What the Eyes Don't See, and it's by Mona Hanna Atisha. And I came to know her as Dr. Mona, just like um, what her own patients call her. She is a pediatrician in Flint, Michigan. I picked up the book because I really wanted to better understand the whole Flint water crisis. I'd heard a lot about it. I, I knew it was bad, um, but I wanted my understanding to, to come from someplace else other than sound bites. Um, and I'm so glad that I did pick it up. Um, I knew Dr. Mona played a big role in exposing the issue of the Flint water. Um, so her book was the place to start. It's a mix of her own personal story, as well as her battle for what she calls her Flint kids, um, the patients that she treats and their families who were put in great risk um, by some government decisions that switched the source of the Flint water and led to widespread lead poisoning um, of these families. I've learned so much from this book, um, how government policies impact um, us when they go horribly wrong, what, what science can accomplish when it's done very well, um, how race impacts public policy, and how really a, a passionate team of people, because Dr. Mona did not act just by herself, but a whole team of people can advocate for those whose voices have really been ignored. This was my first audiobook. I'm super excited to say that I have fallen in love with audiobooks. This was the first one. I'm now on book number six, I, I believe. Um, this is just a season of my life where I, I really find it hard to find time to sit down and read, but there's so many books and I want to experience all these books. And so instead I've been listening and it's like I can have my cake and eat it too because I can vacuum and listen, I can fold laundry and listen, I can run the roads and listen, I can exercise and listen. And so it, audiobooks has opened up a whole, whole new realm of possibilities for me. And I'll never give up regular reading altogether, um, but I would just encourage anyone who's struggling to find time to read to give audiobooks a try. So I hope that you give what the eyes don't see a read or a listen. Happy reading.